This is a short video on how to use an Epson Stylus Photo R300 or R320 inkjet printer with a built-in uh, CD printer tray so that one can design and print a label right onto the surface of an inkjet printable CD. The idea is that uh, one makes an audio recording message on a device like this uh, Zoom. Uh, here's the end result product right here that we're looking to get. Print no label, just printing right on the CD. And now we're going to start with this. Uh, we start with started with this Zoom uh, H2 digital recording device, re device and recorded onto this a 32 gig memory uh, card for about 25 minutes. And then we went over here to this uh, inkjet printing system. Or the next step, we went to putting it on the computer, and uh, we we inserted it into the computer from the recording device through the SD memory card. Then we put in this inkjet printable CD and used the Audacity uh, sound editing program, and then the Nero uh, Re Nero Express 2015 Platinum burning program to burn the image onto the CD. And now we come to the point that we're going to uh, be burning it on, on the label on using this printer you see here with the bulk feed system or continuous inking system on the side and the special tray that you put in. So we're going to go first of all next downsize this and go to the special software called Print CD that came with the Epson printer. It's going to take a moment for the software to uh, work. Now I might say in the meantime that a person could buy these Avery labels and use an Arrow or a Roxio or an Avery program to print on their template labels but that means you have to peel the labels off uh, die cut labels and you have to use a CD stomper to place them on the CD and if they get a wrinkle in there it could affect the balance of the CD while it's playing. So to me this is a lot better situation. Here's the original design template that you get if you want to add a picture you go like this and then you see there's a picture there and you uh, this is a picture I have to go on one side of my CD from the rescue mission and I double click it there then I can cl click and drag it over I had it sitting over here you're allowed to bleed to the edge if you like I had another picture of my wife and I over on this side and then if a person wants to make text you just uh, make over click on the text tool over here and then you're able to uh, insert the text over here like typing Santa Barbara rescue mission sermon and then you put the title and then you click OK and then it goes down it's too big so then you can double click again and you go to text settings and go down to about 14 here or 12 and you adjust the size and you can also choose text color like I could choose a color here that would be some uh, all this list of colors I might choose a dark blue or medium blue go like that then you can click on it drag it down in place here so and then also there's another thing that you'll see is putting uh, curved text at the top and actually what we would like to do really what I did was I put this up at the top up here and then I, dr I dragged on this red thing here and I'm able to curve it the text and so I move it down then I'm able to curve it up and then you can eventually you can see you can drag it into place and you can get it to uh, you can get it to match the same pretty much the same curve and then you can click on it and move it over and move it down and you can do you can uh, then you have to drag it over so you can uh, get it centered. Whoops, wrong way. So I guess we go this way. Nope, that, not that way. There's a way to uh, to drag it around the curve. But So the better way you can see is to follow a, a pre-existing template. So with that, we'll open a pre-existing template file. Open recent. Pure and simple devotion to Christ. Uh, no, don't save the changes now. See, this one here is already made from before it's all exactly this up here you can see how you can click on this yellow thing and move it up or down and 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 place it different places type in different text double click on it type in different text choose a different color choose text settings of 
point size of type and, and font style of type. And you can uh, expand the, the spacing between the letters uh, and between the lines to make it look better when you arch it in a curve. And so what I do each time I make a new talk or sermon, I double click on this existing template and then all I have to do is type in the, the new information here, drag across it, type in new information, click OK, and then it goes down to this. Then you then you, you, when you get out of there and click OK, it goes back to here. And you can see with, with two sermons, for example, or two topics fitting on a CD, each being about 30 minutes long, you can put a maximum of 80 minutes on there. Then you can, uh, with it, you have to adjust the size, make it a little smaller type. So then, then you would save it as its own name, and I'd go save as here. And then you can see I've been saving here in a certain location where Epson likes to save it. Uh, all these uh, print, print on CD uh, labels, information, custom CD labels in that particular location. Santa Barbara Rescue Mission Sermons for Audio CD and then Print on CD Labels is where it's located. So now the next step is going to be to take a label, I mean a blank CD, that the one that we recorded on in the computer using the narrow program and put it in this tray and put it in the Epson printer. But first of all, one wants to uh, uh, close up this tray and uh, turn the power on, close up the tray, let it go, the print head will go back and forth until it's reached its uh, standing point and primed all the ink. You see the ink had no air bubbles in the line here. And then you'll be able to put this in and line up this uh, white arrow with this gray arrow on the bed right there. And then it, at the, it will take it in and print the label on and come back out and then you can have your and it, they say that if you print in the highest quality then it's going to affect the uh, drying time but it doesn't seem to be a problem so what I'd like to do next in closing is we'd like to go file print here and we'll show you the print window for the Epson uh, s print on the CD software it takes just like when you open the program it takes a few attempts here to finally get the thing processed and also if you're not careful and don't open this like this and can make your changes and you print in too low a quality setting on this particular brand of, of printable CD surf surface it, it doesn't like it it doesn't do a good job now you don't see a printer listed so we go manual over here then we can go down the list and we get to Epson R320 and then we go to, you can have letter, I usually put A4, I think doesn't, maybe it doesn't matter. We put manual here because it's uh, the manual feed tray. Then we go to properties to get the further detail. And we, we're not using plain paper here, we're using a CD, DVD premium surface. And then we have manual source here. And then we're going to click on best photo. It works nice with Best Photo, really doesn't take that long to make a CD. Then I go OK, and then I go OK again, and OK again, and then the message is uh, sent over all the information by the USB connection to the printer. It prints out the CD, and uh, then we end up with the finished product, which is going to look like this. Print it on a CD, put it in a uh, sleeve, or put it in a binder for a whole collection of talks. You can even uh, uh, also use it for burning MP3 sermons, which will give you 130 minutes on the CD. Thank you for paying attention and watching this video.